Welcome back, everyone. Questine here with line, more like. Complaints in Monday mornings. The perfect combo. Theo, positive or that P. Take it away, Bert. Morning, Jr. I'm afraid it's a pet P from me again. People who come camping here outside the season just bugger off already. <laughs> Loud and clear, Bert. Just like today's weather. Ooh, interesting. All right. All right, there's a package there. But first, the letter. Good. Here's your mail. Struggling with the weight, Mrs. Weiss. Let's see if they open the door. Hmm. I guess nobody's home. All right, let's go. So, that's one. There are two letters over there. A pack. At the motel. Let's fast travel. Do these folks order? Hello, sir? It's the mail. Excuse me, what's this all about? It's all about the mail. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. I'd appreciate it if you'd act like a human being. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Are you sure you're not just playing a game? Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks for the mail. Bye. <laughs> what an ass. Take two minutes of your fucking time. And if you can't pause because you're in the moment, say that! I get it, we are all stuck in, uh, you know, I, I get it. As... <laughs> yeah. It, it's funny that uh, a game, uh, that a video game has a stereotype of <laughs> video gamers. Okay, let's go to these crossroads, actually. All right, let's deliver that mail. And we have two more mails. Okay. Sweet Meredith. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. Still enjoying life off the grid? Sure am. Although Mickey had a rough night. 
Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Did he have too much of the stuff that makes you feel funny? Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. I may have... Oh, hold on. Mickey's got to read this. Mickey! Wake up, honey! Leave me alone. I'm still shit-faced. It's a letter from Damien. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Give me that. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. Canada? For good? Joan! Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two. You know, and talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. Oh, cool. Yeah, why not? Joan! Awesome! Gotta run. See you Wednesday after sundown. Well, isn't she sweet? All right. Uh, I think the best thing I can do right here is teleport here. Let me handle those, uh... Okay, oh right, yeah. I am not walking that distance. Not in this game. All right. Hmm, these look like bills. Let's hope we don't get ambushed by the crazy cat lady. your mail all right so I actually do need to go to Main Street and pick that up or do I Alright, gonna go get that movie box. I suppose you've come to pick up that VCR thing you dropped off earlier. The movie box? Yes. Did you watch it? 
Yeah, I did, I did. Took some figuring out how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Didn't like it much. Silly war fantasies. So anyway, Angie over at the Flick Shack hopes this entices you to visit. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe I'll drop in one day. Well, you gotta get it back to work. Hey, here's the package. Thanks. See you around. All right. Let's fast travel there to Main Street. I'm gonna stop by the general store first. Mm -mm -mm. I managed to get the machine to work. Here are the pictures. Thank you. I'm happy with how they turned out. Apparently, they're running a photography competition to promote the new photo labs. If you're interested in entering, you can pick out one of your pictures. Oh, that sounds like fun. I'd like to participate. Well, just pick one and submit it. But I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Put it in this envelope and write your name and address on the back. When people still smoked indoors. All right. And yes, I know I am carrying the moving box in my hand. Let's go see Angie. Listen, I owe you an apology. Yeah, you do. I was Kurt. Just plain Kurt. And here you are delivering movies for me. You deserve better. Apology accepted. Let's move on. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I mean, the Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last-ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. That's awful. What'll you do if the store goes bust? I mean, I don't know. Without the store, there's really not much here for me in P.O. So you just up and leave? I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for your diligent movie fairing, my lady. Reward me? Yep. I've got... Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. What? You mean like a date? Oh, you post people in your labels. But hey, if you want to call it that, sure. So what'll it be, Missy? You in or you out? Sorry, um, I... Aw, you're no fun. Guess I'll ask Lori or something. Great, she'll love it. Anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye. Yes, I do have things that I need to do. That work! I mean, there's a million dollar contract sitting at the table that, uh... Uh, Meredith needs to work on. But like, sure, let's go with movie night. That makes sense. Uh, no. <laughs> I would have avoided the discussion altogether, but it's what it is, right? 
All right. So he needs it today. Hello. Hey, Meredith. How was your day at the office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. Actually, it did start at the office. I was being interrogated. Interrogated? What? By whom? Walter Morgan, a higher up from the Post Service. He started asking questions about code of conduct and about Frank. Uh, Morgan, that walking corpse. He's always after Frank. What did you say? To be honest, I told him that Frank had some suspicious things going on. Ah, uh, okay. Don't worry, it's on Frank anyways. But he'll find a way to get out of it. He always does. Listen, Mom's poking me. I guess we're not allowed to talk about work. Uh, here she comes. Bye, Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Was Dad trying to get work stories out of you? Hi, Mom. Yep, he tried. And he succeeded. It was a weird day. Well, I'm changing the subject right now. Have you met that new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. What a jerk. Ugh, I agree. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? It's nice. I met some interesting people. That's good to hear. Interesting people. Do you mean interesting, interesting, or just interesting? I think you could say interesting, interesting. <laughs> oh, honey, that's so nice to hear. It's been a while since you've met someone interesting. That's right. And now I'm changing the subject. How are you guys doing over there? Oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. The warmth of the sun, it's very easy to get used to. Oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama Slammer. <laughs> Alabama what? Alabama Slammers! Cheers! go again. Alright, that's done. Good morning, Meredith. That Robert Harris guy was here earlier, looking for you. Mm -hmm. He asked if you could drop by. He's working somewhere in the forest today. Okay, sure, why not? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man! It's like... Unleash hell, boys and girls. Oh man, it's like, what? Okay, it's not that many, I know, but still, it's uh, it is getting a bit. Uh... Well, busy work day. Let's get to it. Good morning, PO. PO, positive or that P? Mm -hmm. Will it be a P or a double P? Walter Morgan has the answer. Every now and then, I spend some time in Providence Oaks, and I'm always happy to see this beautiful and orderly village and its well-mannered inhabitants. Aaron Circle. Leave it on the doorstep. Okay, that's the first package. So I think the best thing I could do is turn around, go Jackson Street, then go first Main Street or First Street, um, then turn left, stop at the general store, see about the picture. <laughs> okay.
Okay. Let's see about the contest. I know they probably wouldn't have a. People love to browse the shop and then not buy anything. All right. There's a package there. What's going on? There's some effect on the radio. Alright, the flick shack. with Lori. Oh, um, I, I ended up not going. That's too bad. I hope you're not mad at me for saying no. Oh, of course not. I could never be angry with you, babe. Okay, good. So, how are you? Well, there's something I want to talk about. Oh, what is it? We should talk about us. I think I'm starting to like you. A lot. And I'd like to ask you to be a little less awesome. It's distracting me. <laughs> no can do, Miss Weiss. Being awesome is my thing. Would you ask Rocky to stop boxing? <laughs> Touché. So anyway, what's on your mind? Taking stock of the store? Or of your life? Yeah, uh, I just... You ever get the feeling you're not where you need to be? Yeah, I know that feeling. I know it all too well. It's just that this whole Flick Shack adventure, I think it was the right idea at the wrong time. And in the wrong place? I think so, yeah. I think I'm just too different for this town. Plus, business hasn't really been booming. Ah, and here I was hoping our movie box project would turn things around. <laughs> it almost did. Don't think that it didn't help. That's what I mean with the wrong time. I'm sure video will be huge. But it isn't. Not yet. Not here, anyway. So you're leaving? Yeah. Yes, I am. Wow. I didn't realize until just now that I'd already made my mind up, but I guess I have. I'm leaving. Gosh, it feels so liberating to say. Oh, there it is. How about you? Have you made your mind up yet? About your future, I mean? Yeah, I think I have. Well, whatever it is, hold that thought. I want to give it my full attention when you do decide. And right now? I really have to start organizing the grand closing of the Flick Shack. We hardly knew ye. I hear ya. I'll swing by later. Okay. The various guides say that, uh, you can't uh, pursue a romance with Angie if you don't go movie night with her. I'm not quite certain about that. We'll see. Okay, so I think... Um, hmm. 
Well, yeah, I think going forward, turning around, going in, and then stopping there is probably for the best, right? I swear. Or the uh, other way around. Anyway. You can't drive for shit, good sir. Country people. Yes, I know, I just hit the lamppost. <laughs> and I just parked in the most horrible, atricious way that you can imagine. But hey, it gives it style. Who doesn't like style? Okay. <clears throat> All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Mm -mm -mm. Open up the window. I like how the tires are going into the the fucking uh, road. I read an article about this game, how these kind of idyllic towns were hellish for queer people. And that the romance makes that clear, so I'm like, what? Uh, I kind of think that that's missing the point, really. People in these kind of towns keep to themselves in certain areas. Especially in that respect. But hey, people living in big cities. Talking to people in small towns, not knowing their fucking issues. Big ship, big fucking surprise. A lot of people are uh, holding back when it comes to talking about anything sexual. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Anyway, I think it's a very sweet game. But this is a hellish experience, I'm like, damn, some people really have issues if they consider this a hellish experience. Alright, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Sure, it's a bit too slow. I wouldn't be able to live like this, I'd go fucking berserk in, uh, <laughs> in a week. That's me, the big city boy. I've lived in the countryside for a long period of time. Grandparents. Um, Being dropped off at the beginning of summer, coming back when school is starting, the life. But here's the thing, although I didn't enjoy it back then necessarily all that much, I've come to really love uh, to have fond memories of that life. Anyway. Lake Road. What the hell did you order there? <laughs> A new table. <laughs> Sure as hell looks like a table. That's probably... Uh... Problem on aisle 5? <laughs> I'm gonna gotta get this in. <laughs> this is a... Okay, this was a bit... <laughs> Hi Kang, package for you! I thought I might as well give it to you now, instead of, you know, waiting till you're home. Oh, thanks! That's super amazing! Thank you! Um, what is it? Oh my god, I'm so excited about this! Yay! I see, this is a guessing game. Alright, is it a... A new rocket? No, but that would totally make Grace's day, though. I should be able to craft something like that out of the cardboard packaging. Good idea. Okay. The suspense is killing me. Open it! Okay, you ready? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer! Oh man, I am super stoked this arrived so soon! I got this amazing deal on it through the classifieds. This old guy was selling it. Apparently he had never really used it. I mean, what? 
Wow, can you imagine owning something like this and not using it every moment you get? I mean, this synth is used everywhere these days, so I was like, yes, this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I can get carried away about this kind of stuff. No kidding. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait, are you a programmer? Because if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. If you like sampling machines, you should totally try out programming. Oh, man, I would love to. So much to do, so little time. Listen, Em, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now, what will you have? It's on the house. Pie. I mean, I'd love some blueberry pie if you have it. Oh, I just sold the last slice. We're clean out. Anything else? I owe you? I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now. But good to see you. And thanks again. No problem. Have fun with your synthesizer. Yes, thanks. I swear I am not leaving this town until I get my blueberry pie, damn it. Okay. And here we are at the motel with Mr. Dipshit himself over there. I just remember... I just remember watching these uh, clips people had put up early days of YouTube. Oh man. What naive children we were back then. Only the platform had stayed in some ways, but they grew up in a bad, bad, bad way. But I remember these old clips on YouTube, and it was um, people posting like uh, about game addiction, and it's like, oh, he left his uh, his plate on the desk. He wasn't cleaning up after himself. I'm like, <laughs> and it was made a big deal. I'm like, okay. I'm sure there are there aren't millions of people that work at their workplace and leave their plate there or whatever until they're done working. But hey, he's an addict because you can't clean up because you can't get up in an online game. This is a really really weird thing. Okay, we got the package here in the cottage. What is this a giant dildo? What the f fuck am I? Now it's a saw. It's a chainsaw. Looks like a chainsaw. Better be a chainsaw. We're gonna go Freddy Krueger on your ass. This is... Nope. No answer. Nope. <clears throat> okay. Let's go talk with Robert. Robert? Hey, Meredith. I'm up here. Hey, Robert. Wow, that's really high. What? I can't hear you. Maybe you should come down. Sorry, I can't hear you. Maybe I should come down first. Can you hear me now? Hi, Meredith. Loud and clear. Over. Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up suddenly. Yikes. I'm glad there's people like you for that. It's great up there. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. Anyways, I figured it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. 
here? Really? <sighs> what a shame. Fear not. I have masterminded a wild card plan. Tell me all about it. I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound studio. Get out of here. Are we going to do a tree version of We Are the World? Yes, I can do Bruce. We are the world. We are the children. Uh, that needs some work, Robert. I'll be... Diana Ross. There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. Oh, yes. But no. Sorry. It'll be a radio message to get the people of Providence Oaks involved. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Probably better that way. Yeah, leave the singing to the pros. It'll be this afternoon, by the way. At Jack Reynolds' barn. Are you in? I could use an extra set of ears. A professional sound studio, huh? Okay, I'm in. Great. Meet me there after work. I gotta get back up in this tree now. See you later. Bye. Good luck up there. Thanks. We are the ones to make a brighter day. So let's start giving. Okay. Right. So that's it. I didn't have other plans today, did I? Yeah. Nope. There are no other plans. So that will do. <laughs> okay, folks, it's showtime. Robert, are you ready? Yes, but before we start, I'm not a pro, so please bear with me. You'll do great. Okay, Robert, take it away. <clears throat> Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Perfect. That's a wrap, folks. Back to work. Hold on, hold on, Jack. Meredith, what do you think? The text is fine, but I miss a revolutionary vibe. It needs more passion. Um, uh, okay, you might be right. Jack, one more recording, please. Sure, Robert. Here we go in one, two, three, action. Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris. I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Better? Actually, no. Could you also try Attention Providence Oaks and Lake Lovers Listen Up? So, just the first words. Yeah, Robert, if you could hurry up a bit. <laughs> Potatoes don't come out of the ground voluntarily. One, two, three, action! <clears throat> Attention, Providence Oaks. Lake lovers, listen up. Like that? A star is born. Now, let's do some real work. All right, this should work. All right, it's time to really roll up our sleeves. You ready, Robert? Sure thing, Jack. Meredith, I'm gonna return the favor and help Jack out today. If you lovebirds wanted to spend more time together, she can come along too. Plenty of work to do. Jack, what the? Sure, I'll come along, but I'll leave the lovebird squabbling to you two. Right, let's go then. Okay, folks, hop on my tractor. It's time for the real show. It's me. Oh, hi, Steve. I checked the contract. I didn't see any funny stuff. Looks like smooth sailing to me. Awesome. Thank you so much. 
Oh, short call. Got a rush. Corporate lawyer appointment. Crossing the T's and dotting the I's. You speak soon. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 2. Cecilia hated old Mr. Nabenshoe's table manners. The way he slurped rhubarb into his digestive system was quite the dampener on Cecilia's appetite. She wanted to get out of here and drink and dance with the common folk. Every night, she heard their merry noises travel through her bedroom window. The sounds of real life. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. I need to inform you that your colleague Frank Coleman has been suspended. Frank? Suspended? Why? The only thing you need to know right now is that I will be filling his spot for the time being. Okay, so do the envelopes go to you now? Miss Weiss. If that was not a poorly timed attempt at comedy, the best I can do is pretend you never said this. I'm sorry, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes I just blurt out bad jokes. I've noticed that. Have a good day, Miss Weiss. Okay, so that's gonna be tricky. We do have something at the general store. Okay. Providence Oaks, good morning to you. Theo, positive or that key. Today's contribution is from Matt Turney. I have a positive. Last night's thunderstorm over the lake. Okay. That's Pax. That's fine. Here we go. I'll be glad when I can close up the shop. This day is taking forever. These look like bills.
What's this? The Flick Shack has closed down and will not reopen. Any unreturned tapes can be dropped off before September 22nd. It has been a privilege to serve as Providence Oaks' premier home cinema provider. Thank you for your patronage. All the best. Your Flick Shack proprietor, Angie. Hmm. Like bills. Okay, that's a nice clean street right there. Hmm, Main Street, Y Street. Y Street is it? What? Am I delivering mail to myself now? Okay then. Oh no. Oh no. There's a package there. But I'm not delivering mail to myself, but there's a package there for the for her. <laughs> well, I guess we get to deal with all the cats again. Leave it on the doorstep. No crazy cat lady! Yay! We avoided the horror show. Whew, thank you. Alright, so we got stuff on the farm. Two more. Mail carrier Meredith. Farmer Jack. Good to see at least someone's working today. As opposed to Frank? As opposed to me. Can't harvest taters with all this rain. But Frank's not twiddling his thumbs, I can tell you that. You spoke to him? Yeah, I just talked to him on the phone. He's mad as a wet hen. It's quite entertaining, actually. Thanks for dropping by, mail carrier Meredith. I gotta get back to it. Isn't it well past harvesting season? True enough, but uh, something else is keeping me occupied. And what's that? Can't say, mail carrier Meredith. Can't say. Have a good one. All right. One more.
that's lighter than I thought. At least this it's a box. Hi, Maureen. P.O. people, I need to pause the music for a special message. Uh, hush, darling. I want to hear this. And so do you. It's from our own Robert Harris, who wants to keep Providence Oaks pretty. Uh, don't flatter yourself. He's talking about the trees. Take it away, Robert. Dear people of Providence Oaks, I'm, I'm Robert Harris, Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Isn't that something? It could have been more juicy, I guess. But it does say exactly what he wants it to, which is rare for our Robert. Even though he does have his redeeming qualities, doesn't he just? I wonder how he came up with the idea, though. He mentioned he was going to record it at Jack's, but that's all I know. He mentioned that, huh? So. You and Robert are getting to know each other a bit, are you? I guess. I see. Robert wasn't kidding when he said uh, he wants to keep pretty things around in Providence Oaks now, was he? You, you think so? Well, that's what I heard. Anyway. I actually wanted to talk to you about something else. What are you doing this Sunday evening, hon? Something tells me I'm about to find out. You know it. Listen here. I'm hosting a very special first time open mic night this upcoming Sunday. We'll have some drinks, some food, discover the town's hidden talent or not, if you know what I mean. It'll be a hoot. More like a hoot and a half. Count me in. Good. I already had you down on my list, of course, but it's nice of you to RSVP. That's settled then. I will see you this Sunday at 8 p.m. And tell everyone you meet, okay? Let me see you put those postal delivery muscles to good use. Why do I have the feeling I don't have a choice here? There you go. You're catching up. Now I have to go unpack some deliveries out back, but I will see you soon, darling. And don't forget about the open mic. I couldn't if I wanted to. <laughs> you have a choice here? No, I don't believe you do. There are no choices here. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to the post office. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's me. Thank you for calling Alcoholics Anonymous. How may I help you? Oh, please, Meredith. It's not that bad. You're just jealous. <laughs> Actually... I am. I hope you mean about the weather. Well, it did rain a lot here today. Oh, just wait until the wet season really starts. It never ends. Why haven't you told her yet? Let me talk to her. Well, excuse me, Mrs. Weiss. Meredith, sorry to break it up. Your mom wants to talk to you. Meredith, I'm so excited. Your dad and I found this cottage this weekend near the beach. It's so pretty. Not too big, but who wants to be inside anyway? Wow, that sounds great. What's the plan? Live there? Yes. We talk to the owner. We can rent it for the time being, spend the winter here. And if we like it, we can buy it and settle down here for good. Awesome! I'm so happy for you. Isn't it something? And... Uh... It means that our house will be vacant for a while. We won't put it on the market until we've tried out Florida for a few months. So, um, if you want to extend your stay in Providence Oaks... <laughs> no thanks. I need to get back to my normal life soon. Well, just thought I'd mention it. But, uh, it's a 
pretty big deal, so just think about it for now. Hmm? Can I talk to her for a sec again? Yeah, here comes your dad again. My dear, I'm going to get us something bubbly. Hey, Meredith, just wanted to say that I'll call again at the end of this week. Have a great one. Okay, bye, Dad. All right. Memories, memories, memories of you. <laughs> that was so deep. Right, Meredith? Wow, well, yeah. Awesome. It's in the darkness when my soul stars align and, and illuminate the real me. Oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. We, we need to celebrate this moment. I I'll be right back, ladies. Mickey can be difficult sometimes, but nights like these, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but with him. How did you two meet? At a dorm party. He was the cool guy who dropped out of college, and I was about to do the same. Is she interrogating you again, June? Oh, Mickey. Be nice to sweet Meredith. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. Uh, sorry for being a hard ass the other day, Meredith. It's just that we need to be a bit cautious. Cautious? Of what? The man, of course. Always the fucking man. So, you guys are sticking it to the man, eh? Hell yeah, I can't stand the man. Anything with authority, in whatever shape or form it appears. I think I know what you mean. Feeling like a prisoner of society. Hey guys, let's not spoil this evening with heavy stuff, okay? Ah, you're so right, Junebug. Who cares about the man when I've got you? There's something that'll make you feel lighter. Much lighter. <coughs> Meredith! No thanks. I'll pass. June? Maybe later, Mickey. Meredith, how about some booze instead? Sure. What do you have? Beer, wine, and whiskey. Whiskey? Why not? Gotcha. Be right back. Memories, memories, memories of you and and me. Memories. All righty, here you go. This is the life. It sure is. It will be even better once we're finally in Canada. How are you guys gonna cross the border? It's so exciting. Damien will pick us up with his Jeep tomorrow morning. We'll have a cozy hour under the blankets when we cross the border. And then we're good. Hey, I just realized we're abandoning the RV. You should totally have it, Mickey. Can Meredith have the RV? What piece of junk? <laughs> Knock yourself out. Really, guys? That's awesome. No problem. We don't really believe in possessions anyway. Whatever you decide, we'll leave it at the gas station. That's where we rendezvous with Damien. Wild. Memories, memories, memories of you. And me memory Okay, let's get back to work. Mm -mm -mm. Two more days.
Mm-mm-mm. Well, that's an interesting one. Hmm. We do have a package. Top of the Thursday morning, P.O. We don't have any callers today, so I'll bring up one of my own pet peeves. P.O. Positive or pet peeve? The idiotic plans for pedestrianization of Main Street. It's... <sighs> well, don't get me started or I won't even have time for the weather. Speaking of, a few clouds early on, but they will be gone soon. All right. Okay, 106. All right. One more letter over here. Hmm. These look like bills. Maybe there are. Okay, I think the best thing I can do is teleport to mainstream. Leave it on the doorstep. Okay, not an eventful day then. Well, there's two more packages, so who knows? Ooh. 
Well, there's the RV. Meredith, look at this house on wheels. I have no idea where it came from, but it's absolutely rad. It's mine, actually. Mickey and June gave it to me. You know, that young couple down by the lake campground. Whoa, really? That's so tight! Here, they left this note on the driver's seat. Oh, let me read it. Life's a journey and not a destination. Just grab the wheel and enjoy the ride. Love, M and J. So, what are you going to do with it? You have to hit the road. I actually don't really want it after all. Maybe you'd like to have it. You know, keep it here and tinker on it? Oh yes, that'd be amazing. You know I love tinkering, but it's going to need a lot of work. Good to hear, Lori. I can already hear the cogs in your head spinning at top speed. What are your plans? Well, if it's going to be here a while, I should give it a name first. Can't have such a beautiful vehicle and not give it a name. How about the Sea Turtle? Big, slow, washed up, just like a turtle. Or the Raccoon, because it's got brown spots and is full of trash. Or the Hermit Shell. It had many owners over the years, just like the shell of a hermit crab. I like the Raccoon. Good choice. I'll get working on it right away. See you later. Bye. sight for sore eyes. Oh, hi, Miss J... Mildred. How so? Are you expecting more mail from your son? It's just... this week. It's all a bit much for me. I need to get my hair done for Sunday's special evening, but I can't leave my cats alone. And then all of a sudden, Frank has gone missing. He still needs to bring me an envelope. Please tell me that you have it with you. I'm afraid this is just a postcard. Mildred, are you gambling? Oh, don't be a nosy posy, Meredith. Oh dear, oh dear. He can't just have vanished into thin air, can he? I wish I could tell you where he is. Oh, Frankie boy. Always making me worry too much. And I need to cancel the hairdresser's appointment. But what if I can't reschedule? Perhaps I could look after your cats. Would you, my dear? It's tomorrow evening. That would be such a relief for me. And the cats. Tomorrow night? Sure. No trouble at all. Oh, thank you so much, dear. Just show up at seven and eat as many cookies as you like. All right, the schedule is free. So I should be fine.
Came all this way for a, sma a small pack, okay. Yes, yes, yes. He could only look on in sheer terror as Madeline threw the key straight into the lake. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is good stuff. Ah, a writer. How interesting. Oh, for Christ's sakes, go away. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. You must have me confused with someone else, sir. Oh, bloody heck. Do I sound like I care? You lot are all the same to me. Just go away. How many yokels are there in this backwater town? Do they realize people come out to these kinds of places because they're supposed to be remote and quiet? Do you know the Postal Service motto? Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night, so on and so forth. But no one ever added neither rudeness, nor arrogance, nor insults, last I checked. I... I do beg your pardon. I... yes, I am expecting a package. I didn't know you were from the Postal Service, ma'am. Oh, so now I have something you need, and you quite miraculously are capable of common courtesy. All right, all right, I'm sorry. It's just... I've been under a lot of pressure lately from my publisher, as well as my wife. I do appreciate your driving all the way up here, and Lord knows I'll be needing those ribbons. Just please leave them on the porch, and uh, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Now, where was I? She threw the key in the lake. Then what happens? Christ's sake, she made me lose my bloody train of thought. No, wait, I got it. And then he says... Yeah. This guy's an ass. See? Couriers, postal workers, people who knock out your door don't need to deal with your shit. Be polite, even if you're under a lot of fucking stress. Do you think it'll rain today? It's been raining a lot lately. It will rain today, it will rain tomorrow, it will rain the day after. But damn! Does this place dry up quickly? Good afternoon, Miss Weiss. Good afternoon, Mr. Morgan. I wanted to let you know that today was my last day here. I see. Well, thanks for the help. Where are you going now? That's all I have to say. Good luck. Hello? Hi, Em. It's me, Kay. Oh, hi, Kay. Good, you're home. Listen, I don't know if you're busy tonight, and I wouldn't normally bother you like this, but I'm kind of in a huge pickle at the moment, and now I'm imagining being inside of a huge pickle. Thanks, brain. <laughs> sure, what's up? Okay, so this is going to sound like I'm 16, but I have these tickets to a really big concert tonight for Barry and me, and it seems the babysitter has just bailed on me. All right, so maybe the babysitter part doesn't sound like I'm 16, I hope. <laughs> anyway, it's journey, so I'm like, I need to go tonight, and I got these tickets ages ago, and it's a long drive to Portland, so we'll probably be out all night, and I promise you I've called everyone and their brother besides. They're really good kids to watch tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. K, Inside voice, K, Inside voice. <laughs> yeah, sorry. You're totally right. I'm blabbering on R and I. Okay, don't freak out. You got this. All right, recap. Journey tonight in Portland. Got tickets. Sitter bailed. So I guess you figured out by now that I'm awkwardly trying to ask. 
best gift. Maybe you could do me a huge favor and watch Grace and Max tonight? Hey, it's fine. Don't worry. I'll babysit tonight. Oh my god, you serious? That would help me out in such a big way! And I would owe you big time. Huge! No problem. So, what time do you need me? You're a lifesaver. As soon as you can make it. You don't have to bring anything. There's food, videos, even a cardboard replica of Apollo 11 with a set of matching helmets. You're covered. See you in a bit! All right! See ya! All right! Who wants s'mores? Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Guess who's back? Frank? I'm so glad to see you again. I'm so happy to be here again. I guess Morgan didn't stick around to welcome me back. Hmm. I guess I can't blame him. Oh well, he'll never get his way here. Tell me more. How'd you get rid of him? Well, what can I say? Don't mess with the big boys. I guess he didn't understand that some of my customers do a little more than talking about their cats. Ooh, this sounds very juicy. Frank Coleman's no stranger to the high-stakes game. I've got lawyers in my inner circle. All it took were a couple of lawsuit threats. But Frank, isn't this all just really wrong? Nah, Meredith. It's just a bit of harmless fun. Can't say that I haven't enjoyed the drama. All right, time to get back in the saddle. Have a great day, Meredith. Yep. If you know the right people, you can get <laughs> away with a lot of things. Anyway. Okay, let's see here. So, let's see my schedule. So, watch Mildred's cats. What have I signed up for? Oh dear, I did it to myself, didn't I? Oh yes, I did, good sir, I did. All right. I know what that is. Uh, gosh. A very good morning, Providence Oaks. Right. Tell you what. I'm gonna stop right here, uh, and I'm gonna finish this. Uh, and I'm gonna finish this a bit later. I find that I enjoy this game at first, but playing it for quite uh, too long can be, well, just tiring, really. So, stay tuned for more, everyone.